it's Jen and welcome back to my channel. So when I first started playing episode, one of the biggest misconceptions I had was that I thought you had to be like some kind of professional or some kind of famous author to write a story on episode. But really, anyone can do it. Like seriously, anyone. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can write an episode story. So the thing about writing episode stories is that there are two ways to write an episode story. One is where you can use your phone, and the second one is where you can use your computer or laptop. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the basics for starting on your laptop, because I found that when you do it on your phone, it's a little bit more complicated. Even though it's kind of easier to do it on your phone, you have more limitations, and you can't really do a big story on it because it would take a lot of tapping, whereas on your computer, you can just type it up really fast if you're thinking of starting a whole book series with a lot of chapters. So yeah. Also, I just wanted to tell you guys, if you guys are thinking of writing a story, why don't you just do it? If you like reading episode stories and you thought, hmm, I could do something like this, why don't you just go ahead and go for it? Maybe you'll become a featured writer on episode, or your story could gain a lot of views. And as extra motivation for this, actually, if you become a featured writer on episode or your stories get a lot of views, episode will actually see that and they'll give you a lot of free gems and passes. So if you're ever tired of waiting for your passes to recharge, just become a featured writer or write a lot of stories for episode and maybe you could get that. So hopefully that provided some inspiration for writing a story and we're gonna go ahead right now and get started on learning how to write a story on episode. Okay, so right now I'm on my computer and I'm going to go into Google and search episode. So the first thing that's going to come up is episode and so what you can do is you can click on episode or you can go straight to the episode studio so I'm going to do that right now. And to create the story you have to either sign in with Google or sign in with Facebook. And probably if you've used episode on your phone and you use the social category you've signed in with Google probably. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to sign in with my Google account going to say do you want to allow this and I clicked allow. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to create a new story and this is basically the portal for all of the stories you make on episode. So if you're just starting out they have some tips for you here in this column. They have a writers forum so if you're a writer and you want to talk to other writers you can look at that. But we're going to start with the basics and click on new story. So when you write your new story, you want to make sure that the story name you write is the final one you're going to use because sadly you, you cannot change the name once you've made your story and you've written so many chapters. If you want to change the name, you cannot. So make sure that you put in the name that you want. Just the tip. So for this, I'm going to put Jen creates tutorial and then I'm going to click create. So what this does is it says this is a brand new story. So you can click characters, new episode, check fan mail if you have some fans, and yeah. What I'm going to start out with is the characters, so you can choose which one you want. There's three kinds of episode. There's episode limelight, there's episode ink, or there is episode classic. So episode classic was back in the old days when episode used to look like this. It was very old. I remember when it used to look like this. This is my favorite actually. Well, okay, I like limelight better, but classic reminds me of the good old days, but I'm gonna click use episode limelight because that's the most current one. Comment down below if you like episode limelight or episode classic because I know there's a big debate going on. Next, you have to choose the story format. So there's an episode spotlight format, there's a full character display format, um, and I think I'm gonna choose the full character display. So once you do that, you can create a new character or you can choose an actor that's already pre-made. So there's these ones like Alma, Florence, Grace, Hazel, all of those, or you can make your own. So I'm going to make one called Jen. And I'm going to see if there's one that sort of looks like me. This girl named Grace also has blonde hair, so I'm going to just do that, create and save. But if you wanted to make your own personal one, you can click on prefer a different character style and make your own just how you like it. But since I'm not actually making a real, real story, I'm just going to do this and click create and save. So right now I have Jen and I'm going to click save changes and I'm going to go back to Jen creates tutorial. So now that I have my character Jen, I'm going to click on new episode. And this is where all the magic begins. 
So when you first open up the portal to write your story, it's a little bit daunting at first. It looks kind of like the code you see when you're coding a project on your computer. If you know how to code, good for you because that is a good skill to have. So basically, you're going to want to enter a couple of times and this is what appears at the end of your story when it says to be continued. And basically it just gives a black screen and the narrator will come up with a box that says to be continued. So to start, I'm going to say welcome to my first story. Okay, and the other important thing when you're writing your story is background. And in order to get your backgrounds, you're going to want to click on Art Catalog. But you want to be sure to open Art Catalog in a new tab because if you don't, then it will open up on your story. So I'm just going to click Command Click and it's opened up in a new tab. So here are all of the backgrounds that episode has for you. There are exteriors, interiors, day, night, all of that stuff. And if you want to get a better look at something, you can just click on it. So this is like an arcade. Um, let's see which one I like. Okay, I think I'll go with the fancy living room night. So what you're going to want to do is copy that. And then you're just going to have to put it into your story. And that is it for the background. Now what you want to do is put your person in your story, obviously. So I'm going to do... At Jen enters from right to screen right. And if any of you guys have been in a play before or like acting, it's similar to that because if you're not familiar with screen right, um, when I used to be in plays, they would always say stage left or stage right. And the th reason why they say this is because when you're sitting in the audience, it looks like the right of the stage, but when you're acting on the stage, it's actually the left. So you have to know the difference between those two. Um, in this episode creator, it says you have to put enters from right to screen and then say what side you want. And I'm going to put screen right. And if I want to see if it worked, I'm going to click save and preview. And this is basically the preview coming up. Okay, so you can see that I entered from the right. And now what I'm going to do is add some dialogue to the story. So I'm going to put Jen and then I'm going to say welcome to the best story you've ever read. Okay, so now my person is talking and the only thing we're missing now is animations. So to do this easily, I can get rid of the preview and then I can look at the animations. So if I click that plus button, there's a lot of animations I can do for my character. And if you aren't sure what each animation is, you can just click on the I button. So there's one that's like dance drop it <laughs> or um, I roll sarcastic. Um, let's do one that's energetic. Okay, let's do this one because it's filming like I'm doing right now. So I'm going to copy that and what I have to do is just put it in brackets. And this has to go at the top here. Okay, so now you can see that I am on the phone while I'm doing that. Okay, so that was basically just a little introduction to how to write a story on episode. If you guys want a couple of more like part ones, part twos, I can do that for you guys if you want more advanced information on how to write the story. But hopefully this just gave you like a little glimpse on how to write the story. I know when I first saw this portal, I was a little overwhelmed, but hopefully you guys aren't because it's actually quite easy once you understand how to do it. You just have to get through that little jump of getting into it. And also, if you are an episode writer yourself, don't forget to comment below what stories you've written before because I love reading the stories you guys write because you guys are all so talented and also by commenting down below you can meet other episode authors that also write stories so we can make sort of like a little forum going on down below so I hope this video was helpful for you if it was don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in another video coming up soon